If it's a general election, which would be for either police chief or for the mayor or one of our council members, uh, we start about two months early and start going through all the forms that the Secretary of State prescribes to make sure there's no updates from our previous elections. And we just kind of put together a packet and get that out on the website so that anyone who's interested in applying has ample opportunity to see the forms even before we call the election. So that's kind of the beginning process. And then from there, um, there's a lot of state deadlines that we're required to um, do, such as posting when the applications are available, um, adopting a resolution at council to actually call the election. And then of course, um, letting folks come in, there's usually about a month period of time where someone can come in and fill out an application to register for the place on the ballot. And so for that, um, after we receive those applications, we wait to see if there's multiple candidates. If so, next step is to draw for a place on the ballot. And then from there, we work with the county and they set up our ballot to make sure everything's spelled correctly, um, to make sure that there's um, no errors. And so we kind of go with them and um, work with them throughout the rest of the process. In the background, we're just preparing for the new uh, council positions or for the new chief of police. So we're ordering cakes, we're getting nameplates, we're um, working with them to kind of understand um, what their responsibilities will be once they're on council. They may have ideas and they want to say, well, how could we fund this differently? So we'll put them in touch with finance. So, I mean, there's a lot of different things. They might just want to learn more about streets, so we put them in touch with operations. So just anything that our office can do to kind of connect the candidates with who they'll be working with uh, once they're elected. The city clerk's office is funded from the general fund which is largely funded through the um, property tax and also the sales tax so anything you buy something local we uh, get the sales tax for the city and that goes into the general fund and um, from there we're paying for the county services and we're also paying for state mandated printing notifications in the standard times and we also print in Conexion. So um, that's where we spend our money. So largely it goes to the county. They're contracted with us to um, hire the election judges, the poll workers. So anything that goes into running the election, that happens with Tom Green County. So the staff that you see when you go to early vote or day of voting, those are all um, county volunteers or county staff. The cost of the election varies greatly. It depends how many people are having an election at the same time. So if there's multiple school districts um, or if the county's gonna do something or the state. Um, so for instance, in November, when we had the election for the Lake Nasworthy Trust Fund, that was a special election and it cost the city around $15,000. But we've had election years where there was a, a regular race and then a runoff, and those can run up to 60,000. And so it really is variable, but on average, I would say the elections are around 30,000. The city's elections would be, we had a charter in November of 2015, of course the position elections and then the recent Lake Nasworthy, but the folks that we share the election cost with, that could be for um, SAISD if they're um, voting on their board members, it could be the state propositions that we saw in November, um, usually for schools I believe it's just folks, but also they do the special elections where they're asking for bond funding so we have a contract with the county where we just pay for our portion of the work and the time we had budgeted thirty thousand dollars for this election so we have that money set aside that we were going to use towards the election so now it can be used for something else what we typically do is we just give the money back to the budget staff and say you know if you need to handle any leave payoffs if you need to handle anything for the general fund uh, you can use this money.